Greetings everyone, this is Planet Mitch from LightRumors.co. We are the premier community for the Light L16 camera, which is shipping as of July 14th. Hooray! So that was big news. I want to give you an update about the depth map within the L16. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that many people aren't exactly aware of what that can do for you and why it's significant. But before we dive into that, a small plug. If you come over and join our community, you're going to get a lot of free things eventually. We haven't generated a whole lot of content yet, but our brand new ebook, The Top 10 Reasons the L16 Will Change Photography Forever, is now available for members. And I'm giving this away for free. So come over to lightrumors.co slash join and sign up. So what exactly is a depth map? In the iPhone 7 Plus, Apple is generating a depth map with nine levels. Okay, Because the L16 and, and the iPhone 7 Plus has two cameras, and the L16 has 16 cameras, because of parallax, imagine your two eyes. You can see 3D with your two eyes. You can tell distances with your two eyes. And that's the same principle that's going on within the iPhone 7 Plus and within the L16. Apple represents that depth map only to nine levels because only having two lenses doesn't give them as much information as the L16 gets. And their images aren't that great. But we won't get into that. We've covered that in another video and you can see that in, as a member of the uh, Light Rumors community. But the good news is now that the L16 is shipping, Light has given us a little bit more information about their depth map. Now, they presented this image of this gentleman from Cuba many months ago. But last Friday, on July 14th, when they released the new information that they added to the website, they also gave us a little demonstration of the depth map for this particular image. So if I move forward a little bit, you can see that depth map. Now, it isn't initially very exciting because it looks like there's a guy's face and his body and you can see a little bit of depth or a little bit of grayness on his shoulder and the background's kind of like black and gray but you're not really sure that it's giving you a whole lot more information than the apple depth map right i've turned on my fancy schmancy cursor and I'm highlighting certain areas so that it's a little easier to talk to you about this. But you can see on his shoulder, right in here, there's a little bit more gray, whereas his front chin, his only chin, he doesn't have a back chin, goofy Mitch, there's, this is mostly white. And then, of course, the background, if I go back to the image, you can see that there is information in here about depth and like the horizon is darker than some of this foreground, but it's not as discernible as maybe we would like. But that gives a lot of information to the computer inside the L16 and in the desktop software. Now, you may say to yourself, self, this guy's head looks pretty much white, right? And it's very hard, I'm sure, almost impossible to see on YouTube. But his nose right in through here shows a little bit brighter than his eye socket back here. Now let me do a little bit of manipulation here in Lightroom. I'm in Lightroom. I've brought this into Lightroom. And let me turn the highlights way down. And let me turn the whites way up. No, way down. And in this area, you can see his nose. And I still, this may not show up very well on YouTube, but trust me, you can see his nose is bright white and his eye sockets are much grayer. They're able to do a lot with this very sharp uh, image to be able to tell where he is versus the background. But the point is, 
that this depth map, this gray image, is giving us a lot of information, giving them a lot of information about where the objects are within the image. They also gave us a couple of different samples, and I'm going to go through those here. And this was buried in some of the information, and I grabbed these images, thanks to light. But this is the original image, which um, they have marked as F15. So it's going to have a lot of depth. If you were looking at a traditional DSLR image, that would have a whole lot of everything in focus at F15 up to F22. You know, you're pretty much going to get everything in focus. Uh, we can see down here that this flower is a little bit out of focus. Uh, but her eyes and her face, which should be the primary focus point, is pretty much in focus, which is what we want, right? Uh, so the background is definitely sharp. Now, we don't have the depth map for this image, but if I go forwards to the next image, you will see, and it's not 100% aligned, so I apologize about that, but you will see that going back and forth between these two, that the background is much blurrier. They have applied a Gaussian blur or whatever routine they're using to this. It looks pretty good. There may be a little bit of an edge issue up here. It's kind of really hard to tell because we don't have the full size image, but the vast majority of people aren't going to even notice that. And they certainly uh, will say that this is a much better image because the background is blurry and you're focusing the attention on the young lady's face. They gave us the original image on this one. It wasn't labeled as F15, so I don't know exactly what they equate the f-stop to, but this is obviously everything is in focus. But the big question we had before was what's going on in this area specifically in this area right here, and how well does the L16 differentiate individual clumps or strands of hair, and how well does it blur out the background based on its depth map? Big controversy here, right? And how well did it work? It works pretty daggum well. Let's see if I can zoom in. I have zoomed in to 2x, two times what the original image was. And you can see that her hair is pretty awesomely blurry, somewhat. The background is more blurry. Lots of goodness is going on here. It doesn't just like have these major gaps where the background isn't really blurred out like this. I mean, some of the Apple images, if you watch the other video that I've done, and I will, of course, include a link to that. Other Apple images with their two cameras cannot differentiate this kind of fine hair or even wine glasses. It's, it's such a joke. Uh, so this is pretty dadgum impressive, if you ask me, if you compare that to this. Let me zoom in. So zooming the sharp image all the way in, you can definitely see that there is plenty of background that could have been a big problem right in here with her hair, and it's not. So I'm pretty amazed at the way the L16 is handling this kind of structure. The depth map is doing what it needs to do. Of course, that means that there are other functions which are all outlined in the ebook, and I'll try to talk about a couple of them in some upcoming videos. But one of the other functions that I want to show you is being able to isolate objects in an image. This is a demo from a company called Pelican Imaging, and it was done in 2013. And I'm going to do a blog post about this, but it, they were doing similar technology and uh, they have been bought out by somebody, but they did not successfully create a camera that was shipping. But this demonstration is, I think, a very good indication of what is possible with the L16 as well. 
So let me play part of this. So I've cut out his audio, but you can see they have been able to isolate these three young ladies and be able to move them or move the background and do different things like they're changing uh, the colors on these individuals. This is a phenomenal capability uh, that will eventually be coming to the software for the L16. Uh, I'm guessing because the capability is there. Uh, this gives us all kinds of functionality in moving forward with the software to be able to move objects, to take individuals out of a background. You've seen software ads where they've, you know, taken a girl on the beach and there's a whole big crowd in the background. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. And they've been able to, in, in Photoshop or another program, eliminate those people. But with this kind of depth information moving forward, you can do all kinds of things. Isolating people or objects or measuring distances is going to be very easy to do with that depth map created by the L16. And that is attached to every image when you bring it over to your desktop. It's a phenomenal capability. So that's a brief look at the depth map within the L16. Again, you can come over to lightrumors.co and get a free membership. Not to mention you can get the very first ebook as well as other materials that we're going to be coming out with. So please come over to lightrumors.co and join our growing membership. We also do have the Facebook group. If you don't want to sign up for the membership and get the free ebook, that's okay. You can come over to the Facebook community and uh, join us in conversations over there. Looking forward to having you around Light Rumors. Uh, really enjoy this technology. I cannot wait to get my hands on the camera. Make sure you tune in to Light Rumors because we're going to have a lot more amazing content for you.